morning all all right so just the five games in the national hockey league tonight uh we have one at four o'clock pacific uh two a half an hour later and then we got two late games so pretty easy to keep up with everything that's going on so starting at seven o'clock eastern four o'clock pacific we've got the montreal canadians in against the tampa bay lightning montreal's 15 16 and 3 looking to get back to the 500 mark uh for tampa bay they're 20 11 and 1 these teams met on december 1st tampa bay won that game five to one the third and fourth meetings will both be in March on the 18th and the 21st, respectively. On the Montreal side, Caulfield, 19 goals, 9 assists, 28 points. He is the goal-scoring star for the Montreal Canadiens. On the blue line, they've got Jack Eye, 4 goals, 6 assists. He has a little bit of offense to his game. He has the physical side to his game. He's a lot of fun to watch. So keep an eye on him. Uh, Braden Point for Tampa Bay, 17 goals, 15 assists, 32 points. He can be counted on for about a point per game since it, if that makes sense, he's a point every game too. Uh, Hedman, one goal, 17 assists, 18 points. Uh, the offensive numbers, not quite where they were, say, a few years ago, but Hedman's still an excellent defenseman. And so, yeah, we'll see how things go tonight in that one. 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific. The Boston Bruins in against the New Jersey Devils. These teams met on December the 23rd. Boston won that matchup 4-3. The third and final matchup will be on April the 8th. For Boston, they're 27-4-3, coming off of a shootout loss last night. Uh, New Jersey, 22-10-2, and, and hoping that the break that they've had uh, with Christmas and all is going to be that reset that they've needed. So for Boston, uh, Taylor Hall, 13 goals, 14 assists, 27 points. Of course, he being a former Devil, uh, keep an eye on him. McAvoy, 2 goals, 16 assists, 18 points. has been fantastic for the Bruins this year, which is not really news. On the New Jersey side, Nico Heischer, 13 goals, 18 assists, 31 points. I think he's kind of come into his own this year. But uh, yeah, we'll see how things go with Christmas behind us. Hamilton, of course, a former Bruin, 7 goals, 21 assists, 28 points for Dougie. And so, yeah, this should be a fun one tonight. I'm actually kind of liking New Jersey in this. Boston's on the second half of a back-to-back. -back, and New Jersey is due for a really good game. 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific start for Detroit in against the Pittsburgh Penguins. This is the first of three meetings. They'll meet again March the 28th as well as April the 8th. For Detroit, they're 14-11-7 so far this year. Larkin, 12 goals, 19 assists, 31 points. He's good for a point per game. Uh, Maurice Sider, 2 goals, 10 assists, 12 points. It's been a slower season for him than expected, but with defensemen it can take a bit longer, and also sophomore uh, sophomore jinxes do, do exist. Like, there's the sophomore slump and all that fun stuff, and I think that's part of what's gone on with the Wings this year with both Raymond and Sider. On the Pittsburgh side, they're 19, 10, and 5. Brock McGinn, I haven't talked about much other than in reviews to talk about the goals he's had. Uh, 10 goals, 5 assists so far for McGinn, and when you need a big goal, he seems to be the guy. Pittsburgh, of course, coming off of what might have been their most uh, flat loss last night against the Islanders. Uh, I'm looking for them to bounce back tonight. Uh, Joseph had a goal last night, and his plus-minus is excellent. He's uh, got 2 goals, 8 assists for 10 points on the season. Then we get into the later starts at 10 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Pacific. The Calgary Flames and against the Seattle Kraken. Calgary coming off of winning that uh, Battle of Alberta matchup last night, and then they traveled to Seattle. Uh, Seattle won the first matchup on November the 1st, 5-4. to four. The third and final matchup will be January the 27th. For Calgary, they're 16-13-7 and seven after that loss last night against Edmonton. To Foley, 14 goals, 14 assists, 28 points, and he had a couple of misses last night that had him looking skyward. Wouldn't be surprised to see him get one in the net tonight. Uh, Hannafin has been very prominent in recent Calgary games. He has three goals, 12 assists, for 15 points overall. On the Seattle side of things, to get to 18, 10, and 4, Jared McCann's played his role in that. He's got 16 goals to go with 6 assists thus far. Vince Dunn has been excellent, as far as I'm concerned, most of the season. 4 goals, 14 assists, 18 points. I know there are still his detractors, but I like Vince Dunn. 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific start between the Vegas Golden Knights and the Anaheim Ducks. The first meeting was on October 28th. It was a 4 nothing win for Vegas. The third and final meeting will be on February the 12th. For Vegas, they're 24-12-1. Riley Smith, 17 goals, 10 assists, 7, 27 points. All around the net, and looks like he's he's having a 40-goal season. This is what a career, career year looks like. Uh, it's kind of come out of nowhere, but yeah, Vegas will take it. Uh, Petrangelo, 4 goals, 23 assists, 27 points. It's been excellent. 
Uh, Theodore was not in the lineup last night, so minus White Cloud and Theodore it gives other guys an opportunity to step in. Uh, Petrangelo, of course, one of the leaders on the blue line. Anyways, Miramanov was good last night, though, and that's one notable for them. On the Anaheim front, 9-22-4 and four is their record. Zegras, 10 goals, 15 assists, 25 points. He, of course, is the future star of this team and the present star as well. Unless, well, I mean, if you're overlooking Troy Terry. Uh, Cam Fowler, 4 goals, 13 assists, 17 points. Remains their pretty steady veteran blue liner. And so we'll see whether or not Anaheim could pull off an upset over Vegas. I, I don't think so. I would think that Vegas will... I'll have a, a big game. I just, I hope it's an interesting game. The first matchup wasn't so interesting because it was obvious Vegas was going to win it. So we'll see how obvious it is tonight. Let me know your winners in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.